I know that I need to slow down and watch things. I mean like really watch things. Life moves so quickly and so many things pass us by on a daily basis that it's amazing what you discover when you slow down. When you stop, look around and watch. It doesn't seem that long ago that these birds were just little balls of fluff that I had picked up at the post office. These days they're looking like full-fledged ducks. Where does that time go? When you slow down and watch the ducks, you can observe every little tick and every little motion that comprises their frantic movements. Ducks aren't very fast beasts. A portly gentleman like myself can run and catch a duck, but their movements are incredibly quick. Every preen and every butt wiggle is so rapid you can barely see it actually happen unless you pay close, close attention. Taking care of ducks isn't hard work, but it's constant. It's a twice a day ritual that takes roughly 30 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes at night. The things that you notice and observe when you watch something over and over again can't be overstated. I've grown to love the mannerisms and quirks of the ducks, and it's become obvious why ducks are such a significant source of cliches and idioms in our culture. I can attest to water off the duck's back and the rhythmic shaking of tail feathers. And I can honestly say that I've been witness to a feeding frenzy. I have a hard time thinking of the ducks as individuals. They always move as a single unit, staying close together as a flock. When one eats, they all try to eat. When one wants water, they all try to get water. And when one gets spooked, they all get spooked. I've noticed lately that the ducks have started to flap their wings every morning when I spring them from the duck house. They do it with such purpose and fervor that I sometimes wonder if they are trying to attempt an escape. It's almost as if the male ducks know the fate that awaits most of them in September. I once read the book Animal Farm by George Orwell, so I know barnyard critters are not nearly as dumb as we humans might think. Maybe someday, when I come out to the pasture to feed and water them, the ducks will inform me that they have undergone some sort of communist revolution. I really hope that doesn't happen. It would change things too quickly for my taste.